Hello, good evening everyone. I hope you all are doing fine. Welcome to the class number 12th of the Map Insight series. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to look at these many regions that have been in the news with the help of prelims MCQs and we will visualize the answer with the help of maps. That is more effective. From the perspective of both your prelims examination and understanding it from a larger perspective of international relations, these series will help you. Now, if you want the PDF of it, make sure you are a part of my Telegram channel. That is by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, you can also talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on threads. So this question was there. India has signed an agreement to train Indian seafarers in the polar and the Arctic regions with which country? Norway, Canada, Russia, Sweden. The correct answer is Russia and many of you have answered it correctly. So I will take your names by the end of this class. So recently, this agreement was reached at the city of Vladivostok, which is in Russia. And the Indian seafarers will take the advantage of understanding the Northern Sea Route. The Northern Sea Route has become more open because of the melting of the glaciers over there. But the problem is that if we explore this region too much, will it hamper the ecology? So the Northern Sea Route is like this. As you can see, here is the Bering Strait and the Northern Sea Route is like this. Most of the legislation for the Northern Sea Route is from Russia and there could be questions with respect to which kind of rivers drain in the Arctic region. Here is Kolvima River, Yana River, we also have Anabar River, Lina River, we have Katanga River and Yenisei River and Ob River. This is the Kara Sea, Laptev Sea, East Siberian Sea, Chukchi Sea and Bering Sea. The thing is that it could also be, uh, the question could also be formulated from the perspective of arrangement. Arrange the following water bodies from west to east or east to west. So you have to remember and many straits can also be asked. So Chukchi Sea is over here, then we have Siberian Sea, then Laptev Sea, then we have Kara Sea, okay and then finally here we have the Baron Sea. So many ports are also situated here such as Port of Tixi, Port of Khatanga, Port of Dixon, Port of Sabeta, then we have important straits over here as well. Straits such as the Longa Strait, we have Dimitri Lapteva Strait, we have Vil Key straight. We have many important ports and straits that could be asked in your examination. So make sure you revise from the PDF as well. Consider the following ports Masawa, Hodaida, Port Ghalib, and Jeddah. So we have to see how many of the above is are situated on the Red Sea. Alright, this question has been asked because there have been clashes between the militias and the army in Sudan with respect to Port Sudan, which is situated in Sudan in the Red Sea. So now we have to answer this question with the help of this particular map. First, we have Masawa. Masawa is a port in Eritrea. It is situated in the Red Sea. Then we have Port Ghalib. Let me find it. It's in Egypt. Port Ghalib, yes. Here is Port Ghalib, which is also in the Red Sea. Then we have Hodaida, which is in Yemen, in the Red Sea. And Jeddah is in Saudi Arabia. So all these particular ports are situated in the Red Sea itself. So all four will be the correct answer. Masawa, Eritrea. Hodaida in Yemen. Port Ghalib in Egypt. And Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. All right. So this is how UPSC formulates questions, important questions because India has also interest in all in all in these regions because of the Indian Ocean from security perspective and India has gotten a renewed interest in Africa because India was the one which initiated the process of letting African Union become a part of the G20. That is why Africa will definitely be asked in your examination. Moving on. The resting place of more than 800,000 people who have been killed in 1994 Rwanda genocide was among the sites in the three continents that have been added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. So, the sites at Nyamata, Murambi, Gisozi and Bisesero, Bisesero, which have been recently added to the UNESCO World Heritage Site is situated in Ethiopia, Burkina Faso, Mali, Rwanda. The correct answer to this question is option D, that is Rwanda. And these sites actually show the mass killings of mainly Tutsi victims and also moderate Hutus. When very extremist Hutus killed both the Tutsi minority in large part and moderate Hutus as well. And this shows the resting place of them. So as you can see, here is Rwanda. Rwanda is situated almost in the midst. It also has many important lakes such as Lake Kivu. And Lake Kivu, remember it because it could be asked in your examination. DRC, that is Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi. Tanzania, Uganda are some of the countries that are having a border with Rwanda. Okay, it could be asked in your examination. Ukraine has said that it has destroyed state-of-the-art air Russian air defenses in Crimea and also captured two towns near eastern city of Bakhmut. 
Crimea has been a point of contention since many ages because of Russian invasion of Crimea and annexation in the year 2014. So the question goes like Bay of Arabat recently seen in the news is situated in the Sea of Azov, Sea of Marmara, Northern Channel, Mediterranean Sea. The correct answer to this question will be Bay of Arabat, it is in the Sea of Azov. Okay, and this is the Crimea region. There could be also questions with respect to what kind of cities are found here in Crimea. Also, we have, you know, the one more important bay was there. Uh, no, not bay, but strait, strait of Kerch. And here is the Tasman Bay. So, I am also pointing out certain other regions which can be asked in your examination. Remember, Sea of Azov, here is Bay of Arabat, then Strait of Kerch and Tasman Bay. And then we have the Black Sea. The Sea of Azov is connected to the Black Sea with the help of Strait of Kerch. This could also be asked in your examination. Azerbaijan's president has said that Azerbaijan's sovereignty over the Nagorno-Karabakh region, which I have in detail completely, I mean from the history I have covered in one of my classes on study IQ, I guess English, make sure you watch that. What is the history of Nagorno-Karabakh? Why is it so such an utter turmoil? What is the, uh, you know, fight between the Armenian Christian, ethnic Armenian Christians who are living in Nagorno-Karabakh and the Muslims, Turkish Muslims? So we will understand it from the perspective of history in that particular class. So let's talk about this particular region, Nagorno-Karabakh. With respect to Nagorno-Karabakh, consider the following statements. Nakshivan, which is an exclave of Armenia situated in Nagorno-Karabakh. The Lachin Corridor is a joining region between Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan. So which of the statements given above is or are correct? An exclave is a region which belongs to a particular country but it is situated away from the other geographic region okay like Kaliningrad for Russia so let's see what is the correct answer here is Nakshivan Nakshivan is an exclave of Azerbaijan and not Armenia here is Azerbaijan and it is not situated in Nagorno-Karabakh this is the region of Nagorno-Karabakh okay so first statement is incorrect because Nakshivan is actually belonging to uh, Azerbaijan not Armenia and it was also not situated in Nagorno-Karabakh Lachin Corridor joins Armenia with Nagorno-Karabakh. Here is the Lachin Corridor and this joins Armenia with Nagorno-Karabakh. Okay. So first is incorrect. Second is also correct and incorrect. Neither one nor two will be the correct answer. Alright. So I have in depth told you about Nagorno-Karabakh. Do watch that. It's very interesting. Moving on. Consider the following pairs. We have to match the country with its capital. Belize, Belmopan, Nicaragua, Managua, Honduras, Tegusi, Galpa. So we have to see how many of the pairs given above is or are not correct. See, this is the map that is going to help us through it. First, let's talk about Nicaragua. Here is Managua. Managua is the capital of Nicaragua. Most of the time, students do not care about Central American countries and capitals. That is why I have brought this to you so that you know. Then we have Honduras. Honduras, sorry. Tegu Tigalpa is the capital of Honduras. And finally, we have Belize, which has its capital at Belmopan. For Guatemala, city is Gu for Guatemala it is Guatemala City. For El Salvador, we have San Salvador. For uh, Costa Rica, we have San Jose. For Panama, we have Panama City. Okay. These are the certain countries which capital of, or whose capital is very hard to remember. So, Belize, Belmopan, correct. Nicaragua, Managua and Honduras, Tegucigalpa. All three are correct. None are not correct. Let's move on to the next part of it. Japan has told Beijing to remove a boy. That boy, that means that lives in the ocean or is situated in the ocean to do certain measurements that it found floating in the sea near the disputed Senkaku Islands, which is known as Biao Islands in China. Okay, but Taiwan also claims it. Here is the Senkaku Island. It is situated in the East China Sea. Okay, and it is administered by Japan and claimed as the Ayu by both China and Taiwan. Okay, and that is why this region is very disputed. The Senkaku, the Diao Island, seen often in the news, is situated in. Yellow Sea, South China Sea, East China Sea or Sulu Sea. The correct answer to this question is of course the East China Sea. Here it is. You know between Taiwan and Japan and here is China's claim. Here is the Yellow Sea, the Sea of Japan, Pacific Ocean. Alright, so East China Sea is going to be the correct answer option C. Consider the following nuclear power plants. Kakrapal, Ravat Bhata, Narora. We have to arrange them according to the least sensitivity to, earth, to the earthquake. And the most, as in the regions. So, Kakrapa, Narora, and Ravadhata. As you can see, this is showing us the least prone to the most prone. Blue one is the least prone, in which we have Ravadhata from Rajasthan. 
Then we have in zone three Kakra Park. So least will be Rawat Bhata, then Kakra Park, and finally Narora in Uttar Pradesh, which is in zone four. Okay, so two, three, four, five. Like this, we have our seismic zones. Similarly, for that we have this particular map that is going to help you a lot. First, from least to the most. First, we have Rawat Bhata, then Kakra Park, and finally Narora. Okay, Rawat Bhata, Kakra Park, Narora. Two, one, three will be the correct answer. These are the kind of questions that could be formulated. Option D is correct over here. We have to match the rivers with their tributaries: Kaveri, Noyal, Godavari, Sabri, and Mahanadi, Malaprabha. So, how many pairs given above is or are not correct? Let us see. This particular map is showing us Kaveri with its many important tributaries. We have Amravati as its left bank tributary. We have Noyal. We have Bhavani, and many others as well. From right, we have Arkavati. We have Hemavati. Then we have uh, Metu Dam situated over here as well. We have Swarnavati. Many important tributaries as well as dams are situated on the Kaveri River. So Noyal is a tributary of Kaveri. That is definitely correct. Then for Godavari, this map is going to show us Godavari. Godavari has also many important tributaries such as Vardha, Penganga, Baiganga. Then we also have Pravara, Mula, Manjura. We have Maner. We have Indravati. We have Tabri as well. So second pair is also correct, right? Sabri. Then for Mah Mahanadi, we have Malaprabha, right? It has been asked. Yes. For Mahanadi, as you can see, we have Seonath, Jok, Ong, Tel, Mand, Hasdev, Ib. But do you anywhere find Malaprabha? No. Malaprabha is a tributary of which river? You have to tell me in the comment segment. So only third is incorrect. First and second are correct. So third. One only will be the correct answer. Moving on, if a person has to go from Thiruvananthapuram to Patna, that means from the capital of Kerala to the capital of Bihar using land route only, how many states the person will cross during this course? We have to exclude the origin and the destination states. So, question uh, options have been given three, two, four, and five. So, let's see this map and then we can solve it. From Thiruvananthapuram, Thiruvananthapuram, we have to go to Patna. All right. So Kerala has a border, land border with two states, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. All right. So if we choose to go from Karnataka, supposedly, then we have to maybe go to Andhra Pradesh and then Odisha, then Jharkhand and then Bihar. First route from Karnataka could be like this. Second route, if we choose from Karnataka, it could be from Karnataka, then Telangana. We may go to Chhattisgarh, then Jharkhand, and then Bihar. Third route from Karnataka could be, let's take yellow, okay. From Karnataka could be Maharashtra, then Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and finally here or from Karnataka to Maharashtra, then Chhattisgarh, then Jharkhand, then Bihar. Most of them are giving us either four or five, but minimum has to be there. So four will be there, excluding the Kerala, the origin and the destination. Next is Tamil Nadu. Then we can go from Tamil Nadu. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then another route could be, let's explore together. From Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we have 5. Then we have 4. So minimum would be just 4. 4. States we must cross. Option C will be correct over here. Arrange the following passes or gaps from south to north, from top to bottom. Kumbhali, Palghat, Chorla Ghat and Borghat. So we have to choose the correct answer. This map is going to show us from south to north. First we have these all are the gaps in the western ghats. Palghat gap or Palakkad gap. Then we have Chorla Ghat pass here. Then Kumbhali Ghat pass and finally Borghat. Some other passes are also there such as Kasra Ghat Pass, which is also known as Thalgat or Thalgat. Malshej Ghat, Nane Ghat Pass. Here we have some other passes. Goram Ghat Pass and Hanti Ghati Pass. Okay, so first we have to go from south to north, right? First we have Palghat or Palakkad, then we have Chorla, then Kumbarli, and finally Bor. 2, 3, 1, 4 will be the correct answer. 2, 3, 1, 4, that is option B is the correct answer. This is the practice question for you all. The Bosporus Strait, seen often in the news, Connects Ionian Sea to the Adriatic Sea, Sea of Azov to the Black Sea, Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara, and Sea of Marmara to the Mediterranean Sea. 
let me take the names of those students who have answered the last question correctly uh, and also answered one more question for me that I asked you in the midst. So good with that. Rasha was the correct one. Mansi, Kanika, Padmashri. Mansi has also answered the myths question very good. Ria has answered it very good. Also, starting from the beginning, Mansi has answered it correctly. Kanika has answered it correctly. Padmishri has answered it correctly. Mansi has also answered the question I asked in the middle. Bhakranangal Dam being the largest one. Ria has answered it correctly. Malinath has answered it correctly. Pranjal, Kushal, Tunit, Shubham, Vishwiraj, Ashutosh, Simran. Nirja, Priyadarshan, very good Priyadarshan, you have answered both the questions. Deepak, Shantanu, Preeti, Abhishek, very good. Anshika and Om, you all have answered it correctly. Answer this question and the other question that asked in the middle as well. Thank you so much.